Welcome to this uh, presentation on vector algebra and geometry. Today I should be looking at uh, a request sent to me by somebody who has viewed one of my uh, videos and I hope you find this interesting. Right now here is the diagram for the question and uh, there are a few uh, facts or information given with this diagram and it says that uh, vector CA is equal to A and vector CB is equal to B. Uh, the, the line BE is parallel to CA and BE is half of CA and then AD is two-thirds of AB. Now there are two parts uh, to this question here and the first part says find in terms of A and B the vectors AB is the first one. So we could go to so we could go from A to B via C. So we'll do A to C and then C to B. Now because we're going against the grain from A to C so to speak, so A to C is now minus A and then C to B is plus B. And rearranging uh, that becomes uh, vector A vector A B is now B minus A. Next A D. Now we know that A D is two thirds of A B. So vector A D will now be two thirds of vector uh, A B. So an A B is B minus A. So vector A D is two thirds brackets B minus A brackets closed. Next C D. Now to go from C to D we could do C to A and then A to D. We know C to A which is A, we know A to D which is two thirds of B minus A. So we need to combine, we need to add A plus two thirds of B minus A. Now we need to simplify this. Uh, this is our diagram again and from the last slide we know that uh, vector CD is A plus two-thirds B minus A and when we remove the brackets, expanding the brackets we have that A plus two-thirds B minus two-thirds A. That we then reduce to uh, two-thirds B plus one-third A if we factorize and get one third outside the bracket, that vector CD then becomes one third into 2B plus A. And vector BE, we know that BE is half of CA, so BE is half A. Moving on, DB or vector DB can either be a half of AD because we know that AD is two-thirds of DB and then DB will be a third of AB. So vector DB can either be a half of AD or one-third of vector AB. If we go down the uh, half vector AD root, we have that half times two over three into B minus A. The twos cancel out. So vector DB then becomes one-third of one-third into B minus A. Next, DE. Now, we can go from D to E by going from uh, D to B and then B to E. And vector DB from above is one-third into B minus A and vector BE is a half of A. And combining, we have uh, a third into B minus A plus half A. Now, expanding the brackets, we have a third B minus a third A plus half A. And using our knowledge of lowest common multiple, the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So we end up with 2 sixths of B minus 2 sixths of A plus 3 sixths of A. Now when you simplify and factorize that becomes 1 sixth of 2B plus A. 
The second part of the question says, what can you deduce about CD and DE? Right, now from the last slide, uh, it says, what can you deduce about CD and DE? We know that the vector CD is one third into 2B plus A, which is the same as saying 2 times 1 6 into 2B plus A, because 2 6 is one third. We also know that DE is 1 6 into 2B plus A. So CD and DE are parallel. In addition, CD and DE share a common point and if they are parallel it that means that CDE is a straight line. Furthermore, because CD is 2 into 1 6 2 B plus A and DE is, DE is 1 6 into 2 B plus A, it means that CD is twice DE and the ratio of CD to DE is 2 to 1. Or you can say that CD is two-thirds of CDE and DE is one-third of CDE. I hope that makes sense. Please get in touch if you want me to have a go at another video and upload it. And I look forward to hearing from you again. Good luck, thank you, and see you soon. Bye-bye.